end of the day, Monday, last subject is history. We're on pages 218 and 219, and you need your practice book page 35 out, okay? And this is all about using a flow chart. A flow chart. Maybe some of your parents in their line of work use flow charts, but we're gonna take a look at using a flow chart, okay? So on page 218, it says, why does it matter? It says, a flow chart, a flow chart shows the steps needed to make or do something. So that's all it is. Steps needed to make or do something. Okay, the steps you need. You can use a flow chart to show the steps workers follow to make a product. What you need to know. You kind of did something like this with your Seafair, didn't you? You showed the steps you did, you went through to produce your final product. It says the title of the flow chart tells what it is about. So if you look over on page 219, what is that flow chart that's kind of going down about? Orange juice. You can tell by the title at the top. And then each picture has a sentence that tells about each step. And then the arrows show you the order of the steps. So we already answered number one. What does the flow chart, I can't say flow chart, flow chart show. How much wood could a wood chart chart? Anyway, orange juice. So number two, what is the first step? Go ahead and read that with me. One, the oranges are picked. Gotta pick them oranges. And then number two, the oranges are processed. Question three says, what happens after the oranges are processed? Remember the processing plant? They're washed, they're sized, they're separated. Maybe bad ones are discarded or used for something else. And then follow the arrow to number three. And then the juice is taken to the market. That's the distribution aspect, the distributor. And then the juice, number four, winds up in the market. You wind up in the market, you buy it, you take it home, right? And it says, when you, if you apply what you've learned, list the steps for something you do every day. Use your list to make a flow chart. I get up in the morning, I wash my face and brush my teeth, I put on my clothes, I make my bed, I have my breakfast, things like that. Okay, so take a look at practice page 35. We're actually going to complete a flow chart. So who can tell me what this flow chart is about? You're right, from beehive to breakfast table. What do we get from a beehive besides stung if we get too close? We get honey, you're right. So the first picture is of a beehive. And the directions are, write sentences to tell what is happening. My book is so little. Sentences to tell what is happening in the steps. The first one is done for you. So the first picture, they wrote, bees make honey. Plain and simple. Okay, so they already did that. Number two, look at the picture. What would you write that is going on there? A beekeeper gathers the honey. A worker gathers the honey. Good. So why don't we go ahead and write, can you see that? A worker or beekeeper, it's just a shorter way. A worker is gathering. And can you color these pictures if you'd like? You sure can. Gathering the honey. Period. A worker is gathering the honey. That is a sentence, so it starts with a capital, ends with a period. A worker is gathering the honey. And you can see how they're dressed so that they don't get stung. Number three, what is going on there? They're at a processing plant, aren't they? Aren't they? What are they doing at that processing plant? 
they're putting the honey in the jars, right? Okay, so we can say honey. And I love honey. I just bought a new one this weekend out there by the ocean and it's delicious. It's mixed with oleoli berries and honey mixed together. And I take a spoonful every morning. Honey is put into jars. And why is the honey put into jars? To go to the store. But we'll just say to sell, okay? Honey is put into jars to sell. Number four, what is going on there? We eat the honey, right? It's someone putting the honey on a muffin. It looks like to eat it. So you can say someone puts the honey on a muffin and eats it, or you can say we eat the honey. We eat the honey. You can get more elaborate and really describe the picture because precisely a little child that looks like I think, is putting honey on a muffin to eat it, if you like to do that. Or you can just say, we eat the honey. Okay, so that was a short, sweet little history lesson about a flow chart. So we will continue tomorrow on uh, Dolores Huerta uh, and learn about a biography. And you know what a biography is, a story of someone's life, right? Okay, so that is it for today. You enjoy yourselves, and I will see you tomorrow, Tuesday. All right? Bye-bye.